Hello guys, my name is Valantis and in this video I will be testing a cheap alternative capture card to the Elgato Camlink. After Camlink not being available anywhere to buy, I decided to search for a cheap alternative on AliExpress. After searching on AliExpress, I found this capture card offered by some shop named DKG3C Electron Store. The card is rated 4.6 out of 5 stars and it costs somewhere between 8 and 13 euros. I ordered it from Spain for around 12 euros, although I think it was delivered from China first, since it took about 15 days to arrive. If you order it from the US, you have to pay around $10 for the card and $3 for the shipping. On the product page, it says that it's a Full HD 1080p with 60 FPS, which is not true, and also states that it's a USB 2 device. As I mentioned before, the delivery time was about 15 days. The capture card came in a small box, as you can see here. Inside the box was the capture card, a mini CD and the manual. The manual states that it supports up to 1080p 60Hz, but that won't work, as you will see later. Also, there is a note about the system requirements. So, let's jump now into the main course. I have just connected the capture card to a USB port directly to the motherboard. Then I connected my Sony Alpha 5100 to it by using an HDMI cable and configured it to output a clean HDMI signal by going to the menu, Setup, the second tab, HDMI settings and setting the HDMI resolution to 1080p, the HDMI info display to off and the control for HDMI to ON. And now we'll show you in the sound settings of Windows, uh, after connecting the uh, USB card, the capture card, it creates a um, recording device, a digital audio interface. This is uh, where you can uh, capture the audio signal. Okay guys, now as you can see I have OBS open and I will add a new video capture device source that will be my webcam, my C525 from Logitech This is my old USB 2.0 webcam So I'm going to choose the Logitech one and let me configure the resolution and the FPS, that will be 720p 30 automatically. This is actually the maximum FPS for this webcam. And I'm going to add it as a source to the scene. Let me make it a little bit smaller, this output, like that. And then I will uh, add the uh, capture card which is the HDMI capture card as a new source. I will choose the USB video, which is the capture card. And now you can see the output from my Sony Alpha 5100. It defaults to the resolution of 1080p 30, as it seems. And not 1080p 60 as advertised. It cannot do 1080p60. Now I will uh, choose a custom resolution. And you will see now as I choose 1080p, it auto selects 30. It cannot go higher than 30 FPS. So it is false advertisement actually. Um, so we will go with 30. So I can show you how it looks like. So I will make this output smaller and compare it to my webcam. Like that, next to each other. Um, I want you guys to see the latency. When it is in 1080p 30, I will raise my finger and move it like that. And you can see that the latency is very high. I hope you can see that. It's very high. It's not viable for streaming, in my opinion. We can partially fix that by 
changes the resolution to 720p and choosing highest FPS or 60. Here we have the option for 60 FPS. So we can stream and capture at 60 FPS and at 720p. This is the only viable option and also because of the latency as you will see now. Uh, yes, it looks like 60 on my screen. I will click OK. I will not change anything else. I will just reset the transform. So this is the full size. And I will put the output next to, to my webcam. Just for the sake of comparison. And now you will see that the latency is much lower than before. It's actually almost the same as with my webcam. It is still there. It is more latency than my webcam's one, but it's much less than from than the one from 1080p30. 1080p30 is no viable option for streaming at all. No matter for what case scenario, for what use case. But at 720p60, it is a vi viable option, in my opinion, uh, if you want to stream your DSLR or mirrorless camera for your stream as a high quality webcam. It is just fine. But if you want to use it in order to stream your console output, I would not suggest it. I would not recommend that. But that's, that is only my opinion. Um, so what leaves us now? Um, would I recommend this uh, capture card? Well, for this money, you cannot go wrong. I mean, if that's okay for you, the 720p60, um, you cannot go wrong. It's just 12 euros or 14, 15 dollars. It is very little money. So you get uh, good quality for the money, let's say. And yeah, that would be it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you liked the, the video, please give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And I hope I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.